Hi, I'm assuming it's Melissa, because uh, you said you're, the, the book you wrote was by Melissa, so. Um, yeah, I was watching your thing about bullying, how to deal with bullying, and I've been uh, a lifelong geek. I've been bullied for all my time in school, so uh, I really can't remember a time in school that I wasn't bullied, so. Uh, dealing with it is a really complicated issue because... It depends on who's bullying you and what the type of bullying, what the bullying actually entails. Uh, if their bullying is a is say a physical nature where they're basically beating you up, or they don't really beat you up, they kind of more it's more of a harassment than anything else. Like you know, slap here, slap there, nothing too specific. Uh, but even there. Um, even when a teacher knows about it, most teachers and most uh, administrators that I found, uh, th this is even true today, I talk to most people about bullying, they've told the school, they've told the teachers, they've told this and that, and nothing's been done about it. Uh, so this basically means that uh, whatever's going to happen, uh, however you're going to deal with this as a, as, as a victim of bullying, is fundamentally up to you now. Because there are no other avenues to turn to. If you turn to your parents and they're going to turn around and go to the school, they're not going to get any results. All the kids who committed suicide, their parents had gone to the school, had tried to deal with it, and they got no results. And that's the, that's the reality of these things. No matter how much they can do is all the singing and dancing you want, you can have all the campaigns they want. They can have all the assemblies they want. Until the administration starts taking this seriously, there's not going to be any issue. And I think it's these, but but they, I I know I hate to I hate to be talking ill of teachers because I know some some good ones, but fundamentally they're morons. You know they they can't really do much of anything. They don't know how. To, here's what happens. As soon as you point them out for doing something like like missing some point or something, like that, they turn around, and make it so bureaucratic, so messed up that they take in the opposite direction. So that now. You're having six-year-olds being arrested and handcuffed and arrested and sent down to uh, the, taken down to jail by the police. I mean that th there doesn't seem to be any any ground for common sense within the school system. So this sort of leaves it up to the victim of bullying to sort of deal with things, and I don't think that violence is, really solves anything. Uh, so whether it's uh, a physical abuse or a psychological abuse where they call you names and stuff like that. Um, if it doesn't stop and you really don't have any friends, then the only option is basically uh, homeschooling, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because, well, I can't have friends when I'm, when I'm homeschooled. That's not actually today. That's not true. Because if you go onto YouTube and you'll find there's a lot of dorks, a lot of geeks, a lot of nerds on YouTube, like myself, uh, and younger, that I means all ages. The, the, YouTube is filled with dorks and geeks and so on. And so, on. so you can find people to hang out with on YouTube. And I offer myself if they, people want to, you know, if you're if you're a dork or a geek or whatever you're being called or a victim of bullying, if you want to hang out with me and call me, your, you know, be, be my uh, YouTube friend, that's not a problem. We could do that. You know, we can hang out more together on the uh, on YouTube. Uh, so that way, you don't actually have to be alone. You can't don't have to be socially isolated. Uh, uh, if you wind up in the geek category the way I've done, the way I've been, or any other sort of geek, dork, and nerd, or, or, or uh, <laughs> of that variety. Uh, I mean, you do have choices now. So, uh, I think the choice is really up to uh, the kid who's being bullied, the person who's being bullied. Uh, and the thing is, is that um, being homeschooled does not necessarily mean the education is less than what it was in school. As a matter of fact, your education at home more often than not can be better than what you get at school. So, uh, in terms of a plus and so, you know, you know these pluses and minuses, uh, I think that if you're a, a victim of bullying, uh, and, and, th and this is this is the only way to go about this, is to start uh, pulling out of school. And, and the, as the more kids who are bullied, and there are a lot of them out there who are being bullied, start pulling themselves out of school. This, I guarantee you, as it starts hitting these tax dollar, these tax uh, dollars uh, start saying, hey, we don't have to pay for these kids going to school anymore because they've been forced out. I guarantee you the politicians and everyone else will start listening. Once it starts hitting them in the pocketbook, hitting them on, the, on their tax dollars, that's when they'll start listening. Anyways, um, I hope this helps. 
Uh, if you're a victim of bullying, uh, you're the only one who can handle this. And suicide is not going to be the solution that you think it's going to be. Uh, my recommendation is, that's it, you've got YouTube, there's a lot of dorks out there on YouTube, a lot of geeks, some of them, start kind of coming and hang out with people. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, education resources online so that you can do your homeschooling no problem. So that's the solution for you at this point in time. Anyways, I hope this helps and I'll talk to you later.